All right, I built this wheel to put in some torque on the front of the pinion so we can see how much deflection happens inside the housing when various loads are put on it. The rear housing is built with uh, front axles in it and pins that go through so that nothing can rotate. This is my good buddy Fred here. <laughs> now, I'm going to climb on this wheel and right now our both style indicators are set at zero and right on the back of the ring gear. All right, so this is in the drive position. I think your finger might be in the way. There you go. We'll climb on the wheel. And okay, before I climb, could go back to the, the indicators. All right, this is drive. My bouncing is probably about 750 to 1,000 foot pounds of torque input. Nothing much happening. It's deflecting as most at three thousandths on the uh, tail shaft side and uh, pinion side. Pinion side, and maybe two thousandths or one thousandths on the uh, on the aft end of the. All right. Housing. Well, let's go, and I'll switch around. And now switching. This is reverse. So we're on the back side of the gears. All right. Ready. Ready. Here go. Yeah. I guess this is why I reverse 20, 25 on the pinion. Uh, reverse sign, um, maybe eight All on right. the forward edge of the ring gear. Significant more ring gear deflection when you're running a gear set backwards than forwards. Okay. okay. Warm me up. All right. I think if you tap the red button, she shuts off. I'll let you do that. <laughs> All right. I think you got it. Thank you, Fred. You betcha.